Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nadeja is me. And in today's video, it's gonna be a little get ready with me Halloween edition. So I am going out and I gotta go, but I wanted to get this video out for y'all so you can see my updated, you know, makeup skills, hair skills, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. My battery is running low, but I just wanted to film a proper intro. So yes, we are Playboy Bunny, something quick, something easy, because of course it was last minute. Everything I do is last minute. Um, and I need to, you know, get out that habit. But this is the end result. And if you guys want to see how I achieve that, make sure you continue watching the video. So I'm going to go and let y'all enjoy. Again, thank you for clicking on this video. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're on the road to 1K. So yes, your girl is out. I feel like I should have been Lola Bunny, but whatever. I'm out. <laughs> um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, enjoy the video. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be trying a new lace glue as well as a remover well i'm not going to be using the remover in today's video but i am trying the lace glue and this is kiss almighty bond lace front wig now i i've seen this glue like months ago maybe yeah a long time ago and i was interested because um i think it was larissa oh um, i don't know her youtube name i'll put it down in the description below but she used it and it was like supposed to be like a waterproof um lace glue so i was interested but i never got it but then i just seen this video on tiktok and this girl reminded me of it and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna get it because i got the remover everything anyways so this lace glue does have two different type of applicators you have the silicone tip as well as the precision tip which is really cool because you know everybody applies their lace glues differently and have different preferences so i think that's pretty cool so you can use this side and just smear it out with the other side um me personally i'm just probably going to use the silicone part so that i could just put the glue and smear at the same time versus uh flipping it back and forth y'all please excuse the way i sound i might be out of breath y'all i'm like coming off of a cold <coughs> have a nasty cough and it's hard for me to like when i be talking i'm getting out of breath and stuff but we about to jump right into this. I'm about to speed this video back up and y'all can just watch. I'm probably not going to show the whole install process because I really haven't switched anything up. And I have a lot of videos on how I install my wigs. But I just want to include this as part of my get ready with me because, yeah, it's a get ready with me. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys so about the applicator i do like it i do feel like at first i was more so a little bit heavy-handed with the product like i could have continued to do my dots but as you can see this glue dries quick um i'm only doing two layers because i don't plan on keeping this wig on long <coughs> but overall it was a smooth application uh, I don't know if I put it down too far, but we're going to see now. But yeah, I like it so far. So let's get this install popping. Let's line everything up. We gonna fix it. 
If we ain't fixing it, God gonna fix it. Okay. Alright, you guys. So, this band has been on my head for quite some time now. You know, my head hurts. So, it's time to take it off. But what I'm about to do is, I'm about to do my makeup. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting ready early. I actually do have somewhere to be, y'all. So, it's like 6 o'clock right now. I gotta be there by like 8.30. So, actually, this is a good time. Um, but yeah, so this band has been on for a while. It's probably gonna be white, but I put freeze spray. Oh, y'all, look at the melt. It look a little white because the the roots is giving very much icy. And the line of demarcation is crazy, but it's okay. We're gonna clear that out with the makeup. <coughs> Sorry about this cough. I'm about ready for that to clear up too. Y'all, I feel like I need some moisture on my lips. My lips is giving very much, very much dry nice. back. And we are about to get started. Now, y'all, I have a new makeup routine. <clears throat> I think I've gotten better, so you guys are going to see that. Now, I'm going to wait to do my edges only because um, I just feel like I'd rather do my makeup and then lay my edges versus the other way around. So, I'm just going to move them out of my way. <clears throat> Y'all, this cough is crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I'm coughing in y'all face. Alright, y'all. So, yeah, it's, the edges is edging. But we're just going to go ahead and get started with this routine. Um, And, yeah. So, what I added to my routine was something that should have already been there. <coughs> I mean, it kind of was, but it wasn't. Like, I put it on the back burner type-ish. So, <clears throat> I just go in first with my um, Pond's moist Facial Moisturizer. And then I follow up with my primer and Milk of Magnesia to my dry areas. <coughs> Y'all. Oh, my God. This is why... And I don't, I don't be too heavy handed. Like that's enough. I don't even know why I put so much on my freaking hair. But after I do all my um, face prep. I do just go ahead and do my eyebrows. Which I'm probably going to do off camera. Because it's just eyebrows. <coughs> Y'all yeah, honestly might be staying in. Because this cough. <coughs> is getting out of hand. It's like every time I talk. So. This might just have to be a sped up voiceover type thing versus a talk through because it's not given. I'm about to eat a cough drop. It's really not giving talk through because they don't want me to be great. Like, cold and flu season do not want me to be great. So I'm going to just shut up and I'm going to go ahead and prep and I'm going to let y'all watch. Because every time I talk, I make it worse. So, yeah. Just enjoy the video.
do I look like? Y'all, I don't know why I'm coming up so orange, but I promise you, it does not look like this in person. beauty this is the shade 410 that's a good shade for me I do like to go ahead and tone it down just a little bit though mix it with my um, foundation cuz I don't cuz as y'all can see foundation look very very light it's giving very 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 orange for some reason I don't know. Maybe it's just my lighting. Because it don't look like that in person. <laughs> like, I look like an oompa oompa. <laughs> but it's going to come together. I don't look like this in person. I promise it don't. what I do now right so I take this um what do I do first mm. I take this LA girls it's a matte liquid lip color in the shade what shade is this illusion CLG 407 in the shade illusion and I use this as my like to bring color to my face my blush I don't put a lot, but this is the best thing that I could have ever came across, y'all. And I'm not even joking. Like, it's it, it works wonders. And I just put it on like that. I just can't even see. But, yes, I know it looks, it may look crazy now, but I'm telling y'all, everything is going to come together. Everything's going to come together. So, this is how I be looking right before i blend so i'm gonna blend this out first i'm gonna let it sit for like 30 seconds i'm gonna blend that out first then i'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer so you know if it's too harsh my concealer will conceal over it i'm gonna spray with this and i'm using the what is this royal technique royal techniques brush it doesn't have a number on this brush but i got it in a packet uh sorry y'all my face itch but yeah, it's a Real Techniques brush. Um, I think this is a contour brush. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend both. I'm gonna blend my contour into my my blush. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys will see. So I'm gonna go like that first, just to blend some of that contour out. Then I'm just gonna bring it up <coughs> like that. Just bring it up and like to my temple. So it's kind of giving something like that. I'm going to just blend. Make sure it's blended. And I like yeah. to do this first also because if there's any imperfections, again, my concealer is going to fix it. So I really don't like the way this camera is picking up my makeup. But it's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all. Blend, 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 blend. You see that? That side looks better than this side, but. Alright, 
So now that that's blended, I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer. You guys can kind of see what it did. All right, y'all. So that's blended out. Now we're just going to attack here. And I'm also going to go back over it with my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender. Make sure it's damp and not dry, y'all. Because, first of all, who wants to be hitting their face with a dry beauty blender? See how everything just like goes, like it just melts together. I love it. Like, I love that technique. I don't know where I found it at, but I found it in. <laughs> And I also got these new powders that I started using because before I wasn't, well, I guess I didn't know what I was doing. You know, practice just makes perfect, you guys. So I wouldn't say I didn't know what I was doing. I just needed more practice and the right products. All right. So here are the, I use the Fit Me powder. And on the shade 40 as well as 30. Now this one is too light for me. And this one is like my complexion. So I like to mix both of them. And I'll just go ahead and set where I conceal. So I'm just about to go ahead and do that now. And then I'll come back. Alright you guys I'm back. I had to give my camera a little rest. <clears throat> but I'm back now. And I'm going to just go ahead and set everything blend out my nose because I almost forgot and then I have to blend out my contour y'all like I'm doing bad on my nose <clears throat> so I just take my fluffy brush it doesn't have any product well it has like leftover contour from my other one that ran out so I just like to go with that <clears throat> and contour my nose now if my contour is not given I do go back in with some more product to just chisel my nose a little bit more but today it's looking like you know we just gotta bring it in i like to bring it in a lot so that's like my new thing before i used to be scared of contour and now it's like my best friend so don't be scared and i like to bring it up into my eye crease just to make everything seamless and blend Look at the pinky. And don't mind my nails, you guys, please. Your girl is. Yeah, we like to bring that contour in, honey. I don't know if you guys see the difference, but the difference is there. And then we'll go ahead and clean up the sides with our setting powder. So I do like to go in. I have my setting powder mixed here. I do like to go in with a little bit. Um but before i do that i do need to go ahead and blend out my creases so that they don't crease so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that can see the difference but yeah there's a difference this is why setting your face is important and I never used to do it y'all I just used to skip right over it but it actually really makes a difference so before I do my other eye I'm just gonna go ahead and set the other places of my face where I did conceal uh -huh. you guys so i don't understand why my camera's acting up but off camera i did go ahead and um <coughs> set my contour um and stuff so what i'm gonna do now is take my fitly 
Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 365 um, Set in Powder, Face Powder, Press Powder. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let's get the right terms here. You know, I'm not an MUA, so I don't mean that way. But I want to take my same founda foundation brush that I use to smear my foundation on my face. And I'm just going to tap in and place, like, on the parts of my face that just have the foundation, if that makes sense. So I'm going to, like, put it in a little here and under my contour just to make it crisp. And then that concludes really my face. And I'll go ahead and wipe off my powder on my nose do probably an underliner under my eye and then put on my lashes and do my lips and then highlighter and I'm done so we're just gonna go ahead and do that tap 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 and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it into my face underneath those places just to set my foundation and again I'm tapping I'm tapping the product into my face so I'm not swiping it I'm not smearing it I'm tapping it into my face so we can make everything blend, blend, blend. Just because I'm extra, I'm going to take it just to darken like some of the areas I feel are too light. Yeah, we're going to go in. All right, y'all. So I'm back with the finished beat. Yeah, just the finished look. As y'all can see, I don't look as bright. <coughs> and I promise you, it's still just my lighting because I got a lot of lights on me, y'all. So... Let me actually turn one of them off and see what it's giving. Oh, now it's giving. Look. Oh, up. Oh, low light type of setting. But there you go. You guys can see that it's not so bright. But the face is beat. The face is definitely beat, y'all. But now we're moving on to <clears throat> hair. Hair and things. So let me just clean up my area, y'all. My um camera is like jacked up. Like it keeps overheating overheat icon keeps coming up i don't know what's going on she cutting up <clears throat> Alright you guys, so I am finished. I put my costume on and this is how we're looking. We got the edges popping. We got the makeup popping and then the costume, you know, it just ties everything together. Um, so I didn't have a bodysuit, so I just have on the, the this corset with some shorts and then of course my fishnets, y'all. Come on. And then we got the little accessories. I got these from Spirit Halloween, y'all. We are ready to go out and slay. <laughs> but yes, the blue hair is giving everything. But yes, Day Bunny is out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun filming it. I updated makeup routine. As you can see, I definitely improved. Updated, well not really updated hair, but you know, if you haven't seen my other videos, now you know what I do. So yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween!